Every year I look down at the dead leaves of old ideas and rake them into piles. This year I'm looking up at those still to fall. My mind is a balding tree in winter, continually casting dead weight aside. Some thoughts are as slender as single ply, and just like that, another page crumples in the hands of a creator. A blank slate is enough to intimidate any author, and an empty bed in art often symbolizes a life not worth living, but each of us completes ourselves. It's just hard to see the other side of our circles from right here and now. And I can't seem to write anything down. Fluidity has drowned the writer in me. I am an amplifier expelling honest thoughts inspired by my own exhaustion. And here we go again, forever like it never stops because it doesn't. Honeybees are always busy buzzing. Full time is more than 40 hours a week, 12 months a year, but still less than minimum wage after taxes. And most nights my backache has its own accent everything worthwhile has been up priced and shrink wrapped in plastic to keep us poor hungry and i'm wondering if we can do better than this day by day paycheck to paycheck to checkmate bowing to the crowns of money and things but through all my blisters and broken strings i play on i'm writing a hymnal to hum between smoke breaks trying to undo all of the apologies that fall on empty ears trying to forget all of the half-hearted thank yous stuck like gum beneath worn-out souls trudged through. I let my in-breath cleanse me and every sigh thread me through. Stress is a blanket to shed like dead leaves or old ideas. We need to be ready to harvest the moments that matter most. The good times are ripe and upon us. And I have to tell myself congratulations for making it this far. I don't think it's half bad considering that most of the silver linings I've been promised and all the copper wiring from our would-be dream homes has already been stripped and sold for less than it's worth. Cheers for not throwing in the towel the last time we were three sheets to the wind and whispering secret slurs. It's hard to know what you want in this world. Harder to remember that we should not want. The wanting is the root of evil thought. But is it not the most natural response a living being has? If it's selfish of a flower to yearn for the sun, none of us was born guilty. We all ended up here somehow. It's like eternity has just begun and we're already at each other's throats. This is a hallelujah for those who realize what wild circumstance it is to even exist, for those who make worlds with a flick of their wrists. I hope the next time you're inspired and it comes soon, you remember that you have touched upon something holy and that you carry the spark with you always. Mm.